and we back. The Lakers have changed a lot over the last couple years, and today we're going all the way back to 2K18 and rebuilding every version of their team until now. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see me do this with other teams. We're starting off with the Lakers because the Lakers have the biggest fan base in all of the NBA, and I like clicks. I like when people click the video. Uh, and you know what? No, it's really a good place to start because, like I mentioned, there's been a lot of different versions of the Lakers. Starting off in 2018 here, of course, no LeBron, rookie Zoe, uh, sophomore year Brandon Ingram, right? Sophomore, sophomore year Brandon Ingram. Like, it's a lot to mess around with. We got Luau Dangerous here on a three-year, $54 million contract. Timothy Mozgov still here? No. Mozgov's gone. Uh, remember they gave uh, Luau and Timothy, Timothy Mozgov all that money? I remember. Uh, my job is to turn this team into a championship team and then go back to 19, 20, 21, 22, and then, then 23 and do the same thing over and over. But ultimately, f five rebuilds in one video. If we fail, um, I, I'm not going to go five for five. If we fail more than, than one of, of the things, then I'm giving away a jersey to one of y'all. So be sure to leave a like and comment down below your Twitter account. Okay, great. Here we go. Uh, what do we start off with? First of all, you should probably see the value of some of these players. Brooke Lopez, three and a half star. See, this is the version of Lonzo that Magic Johnson said he gonna be. He was about to get his jersey retired. Like they believed in him that much. He almost got perfect value. Okay, um, KCP is twenty four. Julius Randle's two and a half star. Brandon Ingram three and a half star. Jordan Clarkson two star. Okay. Any other young players? Zubac one and a half star. Remember they traded Zubac from like two months of Mike Muscala because I remember that. Kuzma's here, but this is before Kuzma's breakout rookie breakout rookie season. Does that make sense? This is before his rookie season, where obviously he ended up higher than a 72. And you know what? What I was looking at is these are the rosters before the season started because obviously the 2K18 servers are down. So if you go over to the Utah Jazz, Donovan Mitchell's only a 75. We know by the end of his rookie season, he ended up being what 82, 83. Like he was really, really good. Oh, I'm sorry. By the end of his rookie season, he was an 87. The man, the man went from a 75 overall rookie to an 87 in one season. Superior lockdown defender. Okay, so I gotta, I can't spend too much time on any game, right? Because I gotta do five different years, five different rebuilds. So where do we start off with? Obviously, Lonzo Ball has to get traded for a star player. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We gotta figure out what exactly that star is. Because some of these teams are not gonna give me their star player. Undoubtedly. Like, we're not getting Giannis. I know exactly how the future goes for you. Help us get Giannis. Giannis is not gonna help you win a championship for at least another two seasons. And, and this, if you just accept one of our trades now, you can hit the reset. Because Lonzo Ball is the next Magic Johnson. In 2K, at least. In 2K18 terms. Um, I would be willing to give up Brandon Ingram in this trade, too. Because we're getting Giannis, potentially. Give us Sterling Brown. The contracts don't work. Okay, we got to make up somebody that's making like $3 million-ish. We'll take Spencer Halls off the hands. Oh, we got a deal! Giannis is in L.A. Now, it's not it's not the Giannis man you know. He's only a 91. But he's still, he, he's winning number 17. We're going to change that. He's still great at 22. Oof, was that a bad trade? I don't know. I gave him a lot. We're going to pair him alongside Gordon Drogic, who's an 85 overall. Even though he's old. You know, what is he, 30, 31? Oh, that's not too old. Uh, 85 overall Gordon Drogic. So th this is where I can start to go get players that are, like, no longer very, very great. We could get Blake and Giannis on the same team. It don't make no sense, but I'm I'm very interested in it because Blake is, Blake is nasty in the game. I already know. Uh, so, yeah, Blake is there. Kyrie Irving, no. I'm just going around the league and saying, like, oh, we want Isaiah Thomas. Can we get him? We want LeBron James. Can we get him? We want Kevin Love. Dang, nothing. Zach Levine is probably relatively cheap. He is, yeah. Uh, one overall difference, though. He's only 20, 22. John Wall... Bro, John Wall, ooh, you know what? We, we might try to trade for John Wall next year or something, the next 2K, because he's still going to be great. He want Giannis. Yeah, we can't do that. Draymond Green? Casey? Hey, KCP and one pick for Draymond Green ain't bad. Now, having the space of Draymond Green and Giannis is, so we're going to keep him moving. But this might be the version of Draymond that can shoot. Hold on, three-point shooting? Oh, nope, that's not him. Not him. Never mind. Oh, my God. Um, 20-year-old Booker for KCP and a pick? I would be crazy not to accept this deal, right? I'm actually going to bring in Uncle Tyson, too, for the contract. Devin Booker, I mean, he's only 20, but he's an 85. Like, Booker is still really good. Our backcourt might be Goran Dragic and Booker, but again, Goran Dragic not necessarily safe. Giannis is running the three, uh, and I don't know if we're going to keep that around or we're going to move him to the four. Let me see. Let me see what your overall do. Oh, he, he drops five overall spots. Maybe because he's so skinny. Like, he's a better shooting guard in game than a power four, which is crazy. All right. Do I want to trade for, like, prime Kyle Lowry? Oh, I forgot 2K used to have open three, contested three, off the dribble three. Right now, it's just all three-point shooting. They broke it down more. But this Gordon Dragic is not as good of a defender as this version of Kyle Lowry, as you can see. 
all of his defensive stats are pretty, pretty, um, pretty good. If we're looking at overall grade perimeter defense, a B plus, while Goran Dragic is a C plus. And now we already got Devin Booker. So it might make sense to go get a guy like Kyle Lowry and Bruno Caboclo, who's two years away from being two, two years away. Blake Griffin and Patrick Beverly makes the most sense. We've all some, some defense at that guard position. Go get Pat Bam. And now, since I know that Giannis is only a three, we don't care about space in this 2018. You know, Giannis will make it work. God, pardon me wants to trade Giannis. Did I make the wrong decision? He's only at 91. He's not going to be as dominant. The defense is still going to be good and, and all of that. I traded away for Vucevic and Alfred Payton, who uh, neither of those players are safe. But I, I, at, coming out of college, I really liked Alfred Payton's game. He didn't turn into the player I thought he was, but he at least is decent right now. I also got to remember that we have to go against this team in the playoffs. I'm in here looking for first-round picks, so I'll take one from the Spurs. I'm, I'm going to try to trade away Giannis with somebody better. Get assets and flip them, man. Somebody better than Giannis, you say, yeah, because we're, remember, we're, we're 2K18, not 2K23, not even 2K20. I'm, I'm looking to upgrade because I don't think we can, can compete with the Warriors. That's basically the whole process of this video. Put together a team that can compete with the Warriors. Hey, back in the day, I was kind of the man with this rebuild and stuff. Nowadays, I'm struggling going back to the old games. Like, I, I didn't adjust it to 2K23, and now we in 2K18. I don't know how to act. I guess we're just bringing the Clippers front core here to L.A. Just bring your stuff from one locker room to the other. Um, so that's that's the trade that we did. How we how are you feeling, uh, team? We picked up Robert Covington. Jamal Crawford's coming off our bench at 37. But he can still hoop. He can still score. Alfred Payton, JaVale McGee. Michael Bees? No, 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 no. Actually, I, I'm not liking it. I, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think it was that bad. Hold on. We got to do more. Chris Bosh signed to the Lake Show. Let's go. We might keep him around low-key. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw him in the trade finder because that's what we do. But if it feel like a player that might actually give us some run, like just, just Zach Levine or Tatum. Woo, Tatum would be great. Kimba would be an upgrade over Patrick Beverly. Have him come off the bench. More firepower. But overall... Um, Kemba's the move, right? We got to do the Kemba Walker trade. We got to do the Kemba Walker trade. So now our backcourt is Kemba Walker and Devin Booker. And we don't need Alfred Payton no more. So let's trade Alfred Payton. So shout out to, uh, to Chris Bosh. We got him back in the league. And in return, he got us back in All-Star. Hey, we can just get those guys right back. Shout out to Chris Bosh. He's, <laughs> he's right back on the team. Andrew Wiggins is on the team, ladies and gentlemen. 86 Wiggs is in LA. Um, why? Because just because it was available. Just because it was available. And I don't know why Luke Walton got this big old rotation. Uh, now Covington is kind of expendable. We're going to keep making trades, bro. What if we traded Wiggins uh, for Chris Asperzingis? Well, welcome to LA. Now, if we make you a center, what's your overall? Oh, it's overall stays the same? So DeAndre Jordan could go and we could have Porzingis and Blake Griffin. And remember, this is this is all-star Porzingis. This is prime Porzingis. Oh, yeah, we liking it. We liking it. We got Courtney Lee in that trade. We don't need no Courtney Lee. I'm so happy I didn't just stop and start a simulator. Bro, we just made this team so much deeper. We, we got to have Devin Booker coming off the bench with, with Robert Co Gort Hyde is still in the league. Devin Booker is our sixth man, just like he back in college. So, okay. All right. We going to keep, we go keep spinning the wheel, man. All right. So the team is done. Kemba, Bradley Beal, Giannis, Blake Griffin, and Prime Porzingis. I got to keep saying Prime. And Devin Booker off the bench with Robert Covington, Derrick Rose, Mason Plumlee, and that's it. I mean, we could run Larry Nance too. Right now, everybody's playing down because of our chemistry, but give us give us a week. The chemistry will be right back up. We beat the Clippers, who got Vucevic because we traded them Vucevic. Okay, second game. Yup, yup, yup. Where, where are the Warriors, though? That's the team we care about. Yeah, we're we going to watch this Warrior game, and if we can beat them, then I feel like there's no team that, that's better than us in, in hoops. Here we go. And we lost. Dang. Um, hmm. Yeah, we knew they was going to be good. How good are they? Oh, they not even... They not even know nothing too crazy. I mean, they started to put together a five-game win streak, but I, I, give it time. Give it time. Harden won MVP. Lonzo won Rookie of the Year. Good luck, Lonzo, man. Those are really good numbers, too. 15 and 9 and 10. Oh, 15, 9. 15, 9 and 5. That's... Yeah, that's right. Uh, Jeremy Lin wins six-man. Drummond wins DPOY. Jer Jerry and Grant wins most improved player. Oh, my God. Jerry and Grant, remember? Anyway, uh, coach of the year goes to Mike D'Antoni. So, were we the best team? Lakers? Lakers? Okay, we have Giannis on All-NBA. I forgot to change his number. So, I guess he's just a number whatever. Yeah, it was 14. Uh, but that's probably due to the fact that we just got a bunch of really good players. We were the four <laughs> Bro, the Western Conference is a bloodbath, bro. It, it really is. We were eight games behind the Houston Rockets. 
man, we so lucky with the matchup against the Warriors in the first round, who ended the season on a nine-game win streak. The Timberwolves ended the season on a ten-game win streak. With which, oh my God, we did that to them, didn't we? We gave them Chris Bosh and Chris Bosh with Carl Anthony Towns. That that's one of the great. Oh, and we gave him playing Pat. We we set them up. You're welcome, Minnesota. You're welcome. Your playoff drought ended a lot earlier uh, than in real life. So we are the fourth-ranked team as far as overall goes. That makes me feel good. That means we got a chance for sure. We're going against uh, Russell Westbrook and PG-13. They got Patrick Patterson as, as that front court starting. I don't really trust him. But everybody else in the team, not everybody, because who was at the two? Was it was it Andre Roberson? Yeah, shout-out to Andre Roberson, man. I hope he's doing good. Uh, we got out of the first round to go against the one seed. Now, they just went to seven against Alec Burks and, and, that, and, and Rudy Gobert. So maybe we got a chance, y'all. We are the four, and they're the six. Like, when it comes to overall, we are the better team. But they got the MVP, and they also got Chris Paul. Game one, we lose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see what that box score look like. James Harden with 30 and 10. And Giannis, Giannis, we had 80 points. Okay, that was just a bad game. Game two, we win. There we go. Game two, we win. Um, And, yeah, I think we're just going to have to do it through defense, huh? Because we don't be putting up a... Okay, there's a lot of point game, Giannis. There we go. Show the world why you gonna be eventually the best player in the world. We're up 3-1. No, we not. 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 No, we're not. We just blew a 3-1 lead, bro. We just blew a 3-1 lead. That's so frustrating. And it wasn't even to the, the team that I thought it was gonna be to. It wasn't to the Warriors. It, the, the Houston Rockets went against the Cavs in the finals and Isaiah Top. LeBron had a 5x5 five five in a game seven. Whoa, bro. A 5x5 five five in a game seven. That... That might be the coolest stat line I've seen in the in the NBA Finals game. Now, that's saying something. There's been a ton of great performances. But a 5x5. Five five, he almost had the 5 turnovers. So a 6x5? That's insane. Okay. So now from 2K19 to 2K23, we cannot lose in the playoffs or this challenge is lost and I got to get something away. All right. Brian is here. 2K19. Ladies and gentlemen, now we cannot lose. Dang. I really wanted to win that last one because that would have showcased I can do it without having a guy like Braun. Apparently, I can't. I still got Brandon Ingram. I still got Lonzo Ball. And now I got sophomore year Kuzma. We are now pulling off the Anthony Davis trade. We're going to do something different because that's no fun. Brandon Ingram's a lot of value. Kuzma's three-star. Four-star for Lonzo. Josh Hart is two-and-a-half star. Um, Zubac is still here, one-and-a-half star. And then Isaac Bunga, one and a half star. Okay, great. I'm trying to figure out how crazy I want to get. Because I keep seeing Ben Simmons. And I'm like, man, which show? Boy, you better. I'm trying to get Ben Simmons. What the trade find to say for Ben? Brandon Ingram? Ugh, uh, I don't know if I like that. Because I was going to use Brandon Ingram in a potential bigger trade. We'll do it. Brandon Ingram for uh, Ben Simmons and Braun on the same team. There we go. How, how are you going to stop that? Sag off? Probably. Probably. Um, okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we got our point guard, we got our small forward. I think, wait, what's Ben's position? Or, or small forward is a 91. LeBron at the small four. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll make it work as we always do. We'll, ben might be our four. He might be our four. 16, decided to do it. Um, so maybe we should go trade for a superstar caliber guard. And, and that's what's going to Lonzo Ball and the picks. I said I want to go get John Wall. We might not have a lot of shooting this year. And that might not matter. We still got to go through this team, but now they added reinforcements. Oh, my God, bro. It makes no sense that that team is what they are. Um, Russell Westbrook. is. I can't say he's an option. I don't I don't even exactly know. I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of see what the value looked like in 2K20. See, I can get Victor Oladipo for just Zoe, basically. That's pretty good. I can get Donovan Mitchell for just Lonzo. Like, come on, man. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I pull off the trade to go get uh, John Wall. I mean, Dame is the obvious one. Dame is obviously better. But the video that I just did two days ago or last week when I was going back, I had Dame. So I just want to make it a little bit different and go get John Wall. All right? All right, Dame fans. We had y'all last week. Go watch that video if you want to see Dame a little bit in action in 2K19. So now that we did that, I'm going to go back to them and say, hey, we want Ben Simmons. It's going to cost us so ah, This is bad. This is bad, but I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I, I Listen, I love it. I, I just I just wanted to see Brett, uh, Ben Simmons on the team. Man, that's such bad trades. But again, if we if we win a championship, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing if we win a championship. Especially if we can just go get Kevin Love. We don't need Kevin Love. We got power forwards and stuff. 
Young Shay, 73 overall. Uh, Kemba Walker, we already got our PG, and we already had Kemba. I want to try not to trade for the same people every year. Uh, we might accidentally do it because this video is going to take a couple days to film. Uh, I do see Devin Booker pop up again. The backcourt will be John Wall and Devin Booker, and we'll have LeBron and Ben Simmons. I'm going to do this trade. I'm not keeping Book, though. I just, I'm not going to go against my word. I, um, I'm not keeping Book, but he's just our big trade piece right now. And that big trade piece got us Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we the King LA. Don't ask me how the lineup is going to work. I'm putting Kawhi at the two. His overall only dropped by one. Kawhi at the two. Brian at the three. We just need to go get a center and to get our bench right. What? See, shout out to... Who was that? What did we just trade away? I didn't forget already. Was that D-Book? Shout out to D-Book for just being a valuable, great NBA player. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the course of his career. We traded from last year. He was 20 years old and one of the best players in the league. Hey, you know who was nasty during this era of 2K. Nasty in this era of 2K. Hassan Whiteside was ridiculous. John Wall, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Ben Simmons, Hassan Whiteside. Off the bench, Terry Rozier, Marcus Morris. And then we need more. If we don't win a championship, again, we got to go through that Warriors team, which is elite, elite. I think we can I think we can hang right now, bro. I genuinely think we can hang right now. We got Braun. You know what I'm saying? And having Braun automatically is plus six to whatever you're trying to do. Ben Simmons' value is insane, bro. It's genuinely insane. I can go get Dame. I can go, I can go get Boogie. But that would just be helping out the Warriors or changing the Warriors. But maybe change is good. And no, 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 no. I think we fine. I think I like I like our team a lot. Hassan White says is very, very expensive. He's very solid in the game, but he ain't a safe piece uh, nonetheless. We could upgrade him to Rudy Gobert. I'll probably do that. But let me just keep looking. The higher the overall, the better. That's my mindset right now. Rudy Gobert won three Defensive Player of the Years in the, during this era, so we'll take that. And then I'm throwing him in this trade finder too, because nobody should be safe. But he will be. He'll be safe. He'll be safe. None of these trades fill any voids of ours. Okay. So the team is looking like this, a 10-man rotation. We know what we should have done last season. Why did I let Luke Walton continue to coach my team? What was I doing? All right, so let's bring in Michael Stafford and then make this back to a 10-man rotation. It's John Wall, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Prime Ben Simmons, and Rudy Gobert. Spacing is not one of our strong suits, but who cares? We got Dario, Terry Rozier, Buddy Hield, Marcus Morris, and then JaVale McGee. Not a good sign that uh, Steph Curry won MVP. Not a great sign. Bagley was rookie of the year. Okay. Tyreek Evans was six-man defense player. He goes to Giannis. Now, this is the Giannis we wish we traded for last year. He's up to a 96 instead of a 91. Aaron Gordon was most improved. Steve Curry, and they won 70 games. I thought we were having an amazing season. LeBron is All-NBA first team, so he was great. Um, I thought we were having an amazing season and they just went out there and said, eh, we're better. Kawhi is all defensive. LeBron is all defensive. Rudy Gobert is all defensive. We have three players in our starting lineup being all defensive. That is enough for me to say that we should win the championship, even if we don't have the top record. Let's go get some Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round who have win. Wiggins last year was an 86. He didn't fail to an 82. Carthy Towns went up. They got ties at the four. Ties can't guard Ben Simmons. You know what I'm saying? Actually, let's take a look at stats outside of Braun. Because I feel like we need to see how good Ben Simmons might have been. Kawhi average is about 19. John Wall averaged 14 and 7. Ben Simmons averaged 12, 6.5 and 5.5. And like that. Buddy healed off the bench, averaged 10. What you shoot from three, buddy? 42%. Love it, buddy. Even Rudy Gobert hit a three this season. What about Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons hit some threes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give us a Larry OB right now. Give us a Larry OB right now. I'm not worried about the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round. This should be a cakewalk. And it was 4 0 sweep. I don't like the way this looks, right? Don't this look all bland? I don't know. They missing something in 2K20? 2K19. They missing something. Uh, all right. I need to get past this team. This team has been kicking my butt. And every time we've done one of these go back videos, we lose to this team at least once in the series. I need to beat them. They got Trevor Booker at the four. Trevor Booker. Shout out to Melo, man. Um, game one is a Laker win. Two is not. Game three is, game four is not, game five, do not go game seven. Oh my God, bro. Uh, okay, all right, uh, nine-man rotation. Uh, what else can we do? Do we just give Braun all the minutes? Like, Braun, go win us a playoff game? I think that's what we got to do. And the crazy part is, if we beat them, we still have the Warriors next round. Bro, we're going to lose. I cannot believe this. I could, 
I cannot believe that this Houston Rockets team is beating me so easily every year. Oh my God, bro. We we have to give away a jersey. We have to give away a jersey. I can I cannot believe we this team. 91, 94. I gave Braun almost every second. Ooh -wee. All right, man. All right. All right. Can I look at this game seven box score one more time? Um, we we lost the three point battle by four made threes, but it ain't like they killed us. I'm a washed creator. I almost want to go back and redo this. I failed the challenge. I okay. I'm giving one of y'all a jersey, but I want my redemption. So I'm gonna quickly rebuild this team again. I'm gonna use my head instead of my heart. So Ben Simmons and Rudy Gobert and LeBron James, that space and ain't gonna get it done this time. Instead, we're gonna mess up the Warriors by trading for Klay Thompson. Then we're gonna do a similar thing than last year or in the last attempt and trade for Devin Booker just to flip Booker in the second. I'm trade for Kyle Lowry. Then I'm gonna try to trade for Giannis, giving him Lonzo Ball on top of that. Um, <laughs> I know what I said earlier. I, I just need, a, I desperately need a win. All right. I desperately need a win more than anything. I got two first round picks. They might not even be valuable and they are. There we go. I need a win bad. So I traded for Giannis. You know what? I might stick to my word and just move Giannis for like Tatum and Horford or Russell Westbrook. Yeah, let's bring the, the best version, one of the best versions of Russ. There we go. So I stuck to my word by not having no duplicate players from last season. So we did all of that. And we basically just got Russell Westbrook, Klay Thompson, and LeBron James. Uh, I, I got a lot more to do. LeBron just going to have to have his overall drop a little bit and run the four for us. Um, and we are ready. I am running a, a strict eight-man rotation. Um, and we're leaving it at that. I, I just I don't, have, I don't have the effort to go deeper than this. This is a better team than the last one. Let's go beat the, the Houston Rock. It hasn't even been the Warriors. That's the crazy part. Awards we don't care about. We don't care about it at all. We're just here to win a championship. LeBron made an All-NBA team. Even though they said his overall was dropping a lot. Nope. Um, LeBron Westbrook is there as well. Uh, they don't even know that in the future they're going to play together. And it's not going to work. That, that, that's the crazy part. Okay. I think we can get past everybody. And, okay. Here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is, this is the moment we've been, waiting, we've been waiting for. They got Ryan Anderson as the, as the four now instead of Trevor Booker, who was the last time around. We win game one. We win game two. We lose game three. And game four, bro, what? Why is this specific team the, the, my, my antidote? Why, why is this the team that I cannot get past? Oh my God, I cannot make this up. We, we, sim, we sim cast from now on out, because, okay, we get out of here with a win. That's a win, right? Oh my God, it was, they, we gave up 40 points in the fourth quarter. Man, Sim, Sim Harden and Chris Paul together? Sheesh, Russell Westbrook, shout out to you because Braun gave us kind of a stinker. Uh, Russell Westbrook came in the clutch with a triple double. All right, game seven, we're at the Staples Center because it still is the Staples. Actually, it always will be the Staples Center. And we will get out of here with a win. Thank you. And it's it's one that we went across the board. Finally, we beat this team. And there's Braun and Russell Westbrook giving us triple doubles. And we don't even have to go against the Warriors. We got to go against Donovan Mitchell and Tabo Cephalosha. All right, we take that. We should be able to beat them pretty easily. Oh my God, I thought, okay, we was gonna have to go against the Houston Rockets, and then we just got to go against the, 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 um, the Golden State Warriors. Nope, the Miami Heat are in the finals. E easy five game series, easy five. That's the easiest team we gotta go against so far. Shout out to them for making it all the way to the finals as a seven seed. Thank you. Okay, it took us two tries, but now we move on to NBA 2K20. 2K20 and Anthony Davis is finally here. We also got Book. He was a 90 overall last game, and he's down to an 81. Uh, so we obviously gave up a lot. So the the idea of put, look at Alice Caruso before the ball D. He's got the goat. Uh, oh man, um, he's only 25 here. He looks younger now than he does in this picture, for real, for real. As we know, this team actually won the championship. So the idea of making them better should be relatively easy. There is no there is no bubble. Uh, so that might hurt us a little bit, but we'll make it work as we always do. I'm bringing Marcus Smart to start off with. Uh, can I get out of here without giving you a first? No, you wouldn't want that first. You know what? I don't like that trade now. Dismantling a team that went on to win a championship don't seem like the brightest idea. We're trading two of the core pieces. Uh, Danny Green, you know, had some moments in the playoff run. Not necessarily in the finals, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Kuzma was big in it. But we're, we're trading for Trey Young. Now, he's only 85 overall, Trey Young, but he's still a point guard. Even though we don't necessarily need a point guard because we got Braun. Uh, but but Trey Young is still really good, even though he's only 21 years old. Oh, my God. Um, so that's, that's a, that's a fun one. 
uh, to see this potentially being able to happen again. Now, even though that trade is fire because we know what Luka is, um, he's an 87 right now, small four, which is still very funny to me. Um, I think I want to do this deal because it gives us more. You know, one overall difference between Luka and De'Aaron Fox right now, and we also get Buddy Hill to shoot some shots. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So the point guard is De'Aaron. We still got LeBron and Anthony Davis at the five. Boog is still there. I might move Anthony Davis to the four and start Boog. We got to see how the rest of the trades happen. But so far, I'm loving the team we've put together. KCP almost won finals MVP. If you know, you know. But he might have to move on to his next <laughs> his next roster, bro, because... Uh, you know, we just we just keep trying to upgrade. We're gonna trade for a younger Fred Van Vliet, who's uh, 25 years old at this moment, but he's about an 80 overall. So we got our point guard and backup point guard. Rondo, even though he got one of the dopest pictures from that finals run with him and his son sitting at corner at the the, the center of the court, uh, we, we, we probably moving you away. Um, KCP might legit be safe as a backup. Get LeBron and a power forward on the team, and we might be done. Like, 20, 2K20 should be the easiest one because this is the one that they actually did it. We're just trying to enhance this team a little bit. Alfred Camino is coming to the team. Thank you. I'm talking about enhancing the team. I didn't trade a half the team. More than half the team. Wait, this is more than an enhancement. We do, we're doing a lot more than enhancing this team. Um, can we pick up Dwight Howard? Yes. Whoa, that actually changes quite a bit. That actually changes quite a bit. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna help us out in these trades. We got one extra first round pick. It could get us Lou Will and Montrez, but we'd have to give up Caruso, and he feel like a dude that we cannot give away. So I legit might not do this trade because Caruso's in it, even though he won't even play because this is the the version of Caruso that's not very good. But he was a crucial part to that championship team. He's a fan favorite. I know I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Draymond Green. Um, can we somehow get out of that without Alex Caruso? They want KCP instead of, and they'll give us Jerome. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, how about I'll give you, I'll give you Wesley Awandu. Wesley Awandu, bro, they really want KCP in this trade. Is it even worth at that point? Is it worth Montrez Mont and Lou Will? I got to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We kept Alex Caruso, though. We kept Alex Caruso. Anthony Davis as a power forward is a 97 overall. I repeat, Anthony Davis as a power forward is a 97 overall. So, yeah. We going to be solid because I'm starting Boog and we going to help Boog get this championship, man. Anthony, they, they want to start Harold Nah. He's a spark plug off the bench when, with um, with Lou Will. We don't need uh, JaVale. So we'll probably flip JaVale for another shooter or something and then we're, we're legit done. Torian Prince's three-point shot is pretty good. It's a dropping overall, but we'll, t we'll bite that bullet. And uh, yeah, so this is what our team looks like. Freddy's off the bench with Montrez, Lou Will, Alfred Camino, and Torian Prince going to get some run. Frank Vogel is back on the team as the coach. And we should win the championship. Let's repeat history. MVP for Bra, baby. We're doing it the right way. We got it going. Um, wh what else? We didn't win coach of the year, but Bra made won an MVP award. Anthony Davis is all NBA second team. And the Clipper guys are looking good. The Rockets guys are looking good. Okay. Uh, noted we might have to go get them again and they might ruin our video for the second time we the one seed our lineup looks elite come on man there's no there's nobody mess with this we got two 98s and then 90s 87s and an 85 come on bro y'all Jokic love you to death but come on boy you're not messing with that that front court is too potent Hassan Whiteside and Nurkic together is kind of insane it's not the Super Mario Hazonia who I forgot existed until this exact moment um yeah yo y'all got something but Anthony Davis it's just Anthony, you know what I'm saying? Anthony Davis and Braun is a combination. We, are we going to 16 to notice? We don't even have to go against the Rockets? They with a 7 seed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got Kawhi versus PG, but LeBron is on PG. Kawhi is guarded by Anthony Davis. I mean, we got, and we gave him KCP and Dwight Howard. I forgot. So this is a revenge for either KCP and Dwight Howard or a revenge for Lou Williams and Montrez. Let's see how this goes. Is this going to be the easiest one we get so far? 3 0 series. And we're in the finals go against the Brooklyn Nets, who, of course, have Katie and Kyrie. No James. No James. Shout out to them for getting this far. Another team that's running two centers. Out of all of the matchups we've had so far, double center here. And then Denver was... Uh, so we got two series where we see a team running two traditional centers together. You love it, but you hate it. We we are the team that's supposed to be running that. We're doing so good at it, the other teams around the league. Like, let's do it, too. We went 16-0. The greatest team we've ever constructed, at least in this video. Okay, so we move on to 2K21. This is 2K21. It's like, the, it's basically the same roster. It's literally the same roster. Um, do we do the same moves? Nah. Uh, another one that should be relatively easy. I know this team didn't actually end up uh, doing as much. They did not win the championship. But 
I do believe when you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, you can, especially in the game of 2K, Oh, you're going to teach me how to make trades? Thank you, 2K. In the game of 2K, it's, it's not going to be hard, or it will be hard to mess it up. Get them shooters, let Le uh, Anthony Davis run the four, and you're going to be solid. That's that's basically what I'm learning. Oh, my God, there's Zach Levine. Um, any other trade in here that's crazy? DeAndre Jordan? Nah, we don't care about that one. The Zach Levine one is crazy. It ain't like MVP, not MVP, all-star Zach Levine, but he's still Zach Levine. I said get them shooters. <gasps> they ain't got my boy three-point shot like that. He shot 38% from three last season, which is still real good. 82-3 is, ins is, is insanely low, honestly. Uh, you're not safe. <laughs> you're not safe. Yes, you are, because every other trade that's popping up is bad. That's cool. That's completely okay. Uh, we got Zach Levine to run the guard position. We need a good guard play. We knew LeBron and AD was going to do their thing. So now we got a good guard play on top of it. That feels great. We, Of course, we want a, a good point guard. A good point guard will go a very long way, I think. But that's, that's the next thing we need. And some of these years, I've been able to pick up somebody in free agency. Oh, my God. Can you pick up Boog again? Yep. Now, this time around, Boogie, I can't lie to you. I can't promise you're going to stay around. I can't make that promise. I did it last year. I cannot do it this year. We're going to have to see what you're about on this market. And this is good, Freddy. And I, I know I said I wasn't going to bring people back, so we're going to have to flip Freddy. But, bro, that is that is the, a really good version of Fred Van Vliet, man. Really good version. Losing a little bit of value, but we bring in Jared Allen, Spencer Dinwiddie. We were looking for a point guard. We got that. And we were looking for a center. We got that. So I feel good. Either Dwight Howard or JaVale McGee, one of these two guys is going to be around. Kuzma's overall has dropped dramatically. Uh, so we probably flip Kuzma. And then we just need to uh, build out our bench. Our star lineup looks good, baby. We going for another championship. We might be done with this one. Um, Jared Allen will start over Dwight Howard. We got in Chris Boucher, made him a power forward. He goes up to an 80. Brought in Jay Crowder, made him a small forward. So you go up to a, 70, a 78. We got prime Duncan Robinson. Uh, and then we're going to have Jalen Brunson be our 10th man. Like, that's this t this roster. Who Who's beating this one in, the, in that seven-game series? Who's beating this roster in the seven-game series? Nobody. Let's go simulate. See, we're doing these things that Rob Palink and them only was able to do once. You know, actually, I mean, it's been a long time since LeBron won an MVP. Uh, six men a year goes to the sign. Uh, we won 71 games. Oh, my God. So we were the best team in basketball by far. And, I mean, I can't say by far. John Collins, all NBA 30. Once you look at that. Uh, shout out to John Collins, I guess. Him and Trey Young doing their thing. Um, they should be good, right? Two All-NBA players. Atlanta Hawks didn't make the playoffs. Okay. Uh, so let's see. We got the Houston Rocks in the first round. Now, Russ has dropped off. I think he was at 93 last year. He is down, down to an 89. <coughs> oh, my God. James Harden sit there. And they're running uh, the, the small ball five of P.J. Tucker. Bro, if Anthony Davis and Jared Allen don't kill them on the glass, Class, thank you, thank you. All three of my seven-ish footer guys got ten plus rebounds. Yeah, yeah, we better, boy, we better board up, board up. These boys is small. We better not lose a game, cause we should be getting twenty twenty games from people. Yup. We should, ooh, if we lose a game, I'm gonna be so upset. Uh, even though I mean, James Harden's giving them forty every once in a while, but we just get boards and y'all don't. There we go. We were the absolute worst team they could have went against with that small ball lineup with our two uh, guys who usually should be running center. They, this is also a small team, though. Zoe and them, like Zion is 6'6". He's a cover athlete in this game. He's 6'6". He's guarding Anthony Davis, man. Stop playing. Anthony Davis, go eat. Thank you. Anthony Davis, go eat. Thank you. Oh, we, are we about to go 16-0 twice in the row? Let's go, man. See, this is this is what happened. This is what could be done, Rob Palenka. You know what I'm saying? Palenka got AD and LeBron got one championship and was like, oh, that's, we cool. No, man. Go to the drawing board, aka 2K, and do more trades to get to get back to the finals and win. We're going against Ben Simmons, um, Ben Simmons and Joel and B. What year was was Jimmy Butler there? I feel like I was that last year? I don't even know. Um, no, because Josh Richardson is here. So that's next year. Right? Am I tripping? Oh, no, it don't matter. It don't matter. We're in the finals against them. Is this another 16 to 0? It's not. But it's 16 and 1? Yeah. We almost went back to back 16 and 0. 16 and 1 gets the job done, I guess. Uh, Joel and B got them a game. Shout out to Joel. Okay. We, we, we doing a thing, man. And then the Russell Westbrook trade happened. It's going to be a little bit tougher to rebuild this team. I tell you that. The last two teams, we had assets, we had young players and stuff. Nah, we got to get Russ off the team first. I think that's the first thing. Malik Monk had a really good season for them last year, but we got to get rid of that. Um, and we got to use that to get like a Drew Holiday. You know what I'm saying? We got to we gotta parlay that to make something shake. Drew Holiday? Yeah, Drew Holiday is the guy. 2K22, thank you for trying to explain to me 
how to do this trade. We also get Brick Lopez, who I kind of just overlooked, and, and he's back on the team. Full circle moment. He was there in 2018, in the 2018, and now he's going to be potentially the starting center, depending on what Anthony Davis is. Overall stays the same. Okay, overall stays the same. So AD might run a five, he might run a four. Depends on how the rest of these trades end up going. Um, Drew Holiday, you're not, you're not safe, though. I'll be honest with you. You ain't safe. We can get Shea, and Shea's an 88. Shout out to Shea Gibbs Alexander. He's back in LA, but on the other side. Love that. The only problem with that trade is we basically just got rid of a max spot for these next trades. So I'm actually disappointed in myself for taking that trade and not some of the other ones. But we'll make we'll make it work like we always do. Well, I can't say it always because we've definitely lost some challenges recently. So I cannot say always. But we'll make it work like we sometimes, usually, sometimes, we, see, we usually sometimes do. How about that? Kuzma, you want to come back to L.A.? Sure, we won a championship last time you was on the team. Okay, maybe not last time you was on the team, but you did win a championship. Carmelo, I'm sending you to Phoenix. Good luck out of there, man. I wish Melo was still in the league right now, but we needed that. You know, this power forward duo, these light-skinned brothers that's going to run the power forward for us, we going to be nice. But I would be crazy not to at least test it with this first round pick with Kuzma and them. Built that guard core up. DeJounte Murray and Shea Gillis Alexander are guards this year. Come on, man. Come on, man. Our guard play is elite. And we're going to move, uh, I guess we're moving Shea over to the two because he's just the taller one. Sure. As of right now, our star lineup will be DeJounte, Shea, LeBron, Cam, and then Anthony Davis. Off the bench, we would have Gafford. I'm just saying, that's pretty cool. We just got to build the rest of the team. See, I'm telling you. Those first couple years, we were struggling because we didn't have Bron. And now everything becomes easier with LeBron James on the roster. And then everything become, becomes even easier when you add Anthony Davis to the roster too. And right now, we can't lose. We cannot lose. We've got to go these next couple years and just continue to be great and continue to win championships. All right. It should be easy, right? We got the Johnsons. We got Keldon in camp. And you know what? We're going to start Keldon. He's smaller. But that's okay because we got 6'9 Bron and then 6'10 Anthony Davis. We, we okay with having a small power forward. Especially because let's be real. The four position, LeBron could be the four. He could be the three. It don't matter. We got Cam. We got Gafford. We got Cam. Oh, my God. We got Cam and Cam. We got Johnson and Johnson. Oh, my God. What is happening? Um, and then we got Malik Monk back on the team, too. So, oh, did I see Mac McClung was on the team? Is Mac McClung on our roster? Uh, yes, he is. Dunk contest champion, Mac McClung. Lockdown defender. What they got is dunk on, though. Let's see if they disrespected him. Driving dunks 70. Bro, this is wild. Because even in high school, Mac McClung was an elite level dunker. Even I knew him. And you try to tell me he went to college and he's a worse dunker than... Than... Let's see, let's see. Well, Malik Monk actually... Actually is pretty pretty nice at the dunking. Um, oh, 75. I'm sorry, 75. He's a worse dunker. He's the same dunker as... As, as Kent Bazemore. I forgot your name. And I'm looking at your face and your name. Kent Bazemore. He's a... Anyway... Um, let's go simulate games. Oh, we lose the first one. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. Bron doing Bron things, man. Bron doing Bron things. Six man year goes to Ben Simmons and Steve Nash, which is still a coach of the Brooklyn Nets. They win 63 games and he wins coach of the year. I would assume this is us because uh, we're the only team that made a bunch of trades. At least that's what I'm assuming. Oh, the play-in is here. Right. This is the first year to play-in. All right. Let's see what team we're going against. It's going to be the Dallas Mavericks. So we get to see Luka Doncic and Jalen Brunson before they let him walk. Um, the team's not good, but Luka is, so that's something that you got to look at. But I don't think that he's good enough to carry them in a series like this against this team, so they won't. Um, next, we got the Phoenix Suns, who obviously are good. Chris Paul, yeah, so this is Jay Crowder being healthy and willing to, to play for them. But again, I look at our team, and I look at almost any other team in the league, and I'm like, man, y'all don't really stand a chance. And I, I am down 3-1. <clears throat> I am down 3-1. All right. Um, oh, the, John the Johnson, both of the Johnsons are upset. So you know what? You could be ultimately upset. We're getting rid of all of your minutes. All of them. Since you just want to be mad all the time. Anthony Davis and LeBron, y'all not, well, Shay can get some minutes too. Anthony Davis and LeBron, y'all got that. 3-1 comebacks. We've, we've done them before. A team did it to us earlier in the video. So we can, we can, we know it's possible. You know, it's a close-ish game here. Too close for comfort. We're about six or two minutes to go. That should be a good, good win. All right. Two more of those. There's two more of those. Grind out these wins, man. Grind out these wins. First quarter, big dubs. Second quarter, big dubs. Third quarter, this is one of those games where we win every single quarter. We go out there and we, we force a game seven. We win by a ton of points. Don't ask me the number. It's like 30. It's like 30. They, I gave them Mellow, right? Mellow's revenge. Mellow's revenge. But Shea, Braun, and then AD too. Nine offensive boards for Anthony Davis. You got to love it. Okay. The seven seed, the Clippers are in the finals, conference finals. So that's, that's something we got to talk about. If we get past this Phoenix Suns team, the second quarter is going to be the demise of them. 
They lost the second quarter by way too many points, baby. The comeback is here, and now we go against the Clips, who have Jason Preston starting at the one. Shout out to the homie Jason Preston. 71 overall, and go cut it against DeJounte Murray. Eat DeJounte. Game one is a win. And DeJounte, yep, he did exactly that. Game two is a win. This is DeJounte Murray's show. Uh, okay, six turnovers is not exactly what we wanted, but that's cool. DeJounte, 3-0 three, three us, and we're in the finals to go against the Brooklyn Nets. And Steve Kerr, Steve Nash, who is the one, the coach of the year, um, they got Drum. They got Seth Curry. See, we just look better. Of course, they got their 290 pluses, but we got 290 pluses plus a bunch of 80s. Y'all not ready, man. And I ain't, you ain't even seen the bench. The bench got that one cam. Oh, no, we took his minutes away. Cam, cam uh, Johnson would take his minutes away. Ultimately, we walk out of there with the fourth straight championship because we got rid of that one year because I redid it. Um, and now we go to NBA 2K23, the last one of the video. This Laker team ain't been bad, man. Since they put it together, the trade deadline, they've one of the best defensive teams in basketball. But I think we can we can level it up even more, Lakers fans. Let's go get that last championship of the video. And we can do it not in the world of realism. We can just do whatever trades we want. Um, so I love that for us. You know, we just traded for Emmanuel quickly. He was one of the best six men in basketball. Simply just because I wanted to. Which is dope. But if we just take the entire New York Knicks team and bring him to L.A. Because that's Jalen Brunson on the roster now. <laughs> that's Jalen Brunson on the roster now. I'm, I'm going to have to flip Mitchell Robinson. We don't need him. Um, but yeah, just, just bring them here. Let's combine teams. What is a video that might be out tomorrow? No, no, no. I think it's scheduled for next week. But we, we've combined teams in the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. Spoiler alert. It's coming soon. Let's get extremely unconventional by trading for Larry Marketing and then telling LeBron James, you're running the shooting guard position for the first, second time in your career. Because if I'm not mistaken, Bron ran some shooting guard his rookie season. So the starting lineup is Jalen Brunson, LeBron James, Larry Marketing, Julius Randle, and Anthony Davis. Off the bench, we got Walker Kessler, Emmanuel Quickly, Jared Vanderbilt, Austin Reeves, and Dennis Schroeder. Like, I feel like we could go win the championship right now. We did, like, two trades. I feel like we could do it right now. I'll, I'll try to look for one more trade, maybe. Get another wing player that we trust. But, like, you know, once we got deep into the video, it got easier and easier and easier. Now, we still got to win it all. But, again, you, you see the recipe for LeBron teams to be great. Give us Josh Green, man. G give us Josh Green to be a part of the rotation, and we're done. First game against the Warriors by 30. Never mind. Oh, we lost by 30. <laughs> oh, against the Clippers. There's a 30 piece. There's a 30 piece right there. Is this the fourth MVP award in the row? I think it I think it is for, for our for our guy. Move Bron over to PG and he almost averaged a triple double. 27 point triple double, man. He got he got a lot of weapons on that team. So for the fact that he averaged that much is insane still. All defensive teams. Um, we f we feel real good. Another year we the one seed going against the Kings like the Bean, but this ain't that version of that team. Are we about to walk out of here with a bunch of championships? We not going 16 and 0 this time. That's fine though. That's fine. We can lose one game every series as long as we get to four before they do. We're in the finals to go against Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. Our big ball lineup is working magnificently. They are a relatively small team outside of Joel Embiid. I think we dominate them and we beat them in four. Oh my God, it went six, and I accidentally simulated the whole thing instead of going one by one. But ultimately, we got LeBron a championship in every year that he was a part of the Lakers. So, we just rebuilt the Lakers on five different versions of NBA 2K, and, and technically we failed the challenge. <laughs> technically we failed the challenge, but I still feel like it was a success because I had fun, and hopefully you did too. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your Twitter so you can get a jersey, whatever.